Uh, this is John here again for G-Source. Um, this could be a slightly messy video because I've got a lot to show you. Uh, but uh, one of the most important things about getting grass seed to the point that it can be sold and certified is that it's dried properly. In fact, it's the trickiest thing to do, in my opinion. The growing of the crop is quite simple. The harvesting of the crop has its own problems, but getting the drying wrong will result in disaster. Um, unlike cereal crops grown for seed, if they fail a germination or for any other reason don't meet seed standards, they can always go in a feed bin. With grass seed, there's no other option. Um, it can't be fed to animals if it doesn't do the job which it's supposed to do, which is grow, then um, it can't, um, can't be used for anything else. So here we've got a, a store, uh, a typical store. This is not a sophisticated store, but it has got an extremely good drying floor. Um, and as, if we just have a look down here, we can see that what we've got is a wooden floor that we can dry forklifts on. The bucket used for loading it out is there. We have a big fan, which is blasting air into this tunnel, uh, plywood tunnel here. And um, inside the tunnel, there are doors that open for each section of floor that we can see here. So that once we've got seed crop on the floor, the, the doors in the appropriate place can be opened. So what we've got here now is um, Abreco that was put in here yesterday. Um, and um, it was uh, not a great combining day yesterday, but they got the job finished. And as you can see, we've got it at about one meter depth, which is as deep as you want to go without stirrers. Uh, but it's ideal and they've been forking it over, which you can see it's been walked on on the top. They've been forking it over to mix it. Now, this crop was around 30% when they started combining yesterday, a bit less, actually 28. And um, so it was put in here at that moisture content. Now, I've just put my spear in it, having had 24 hours drying. And we can see that the spear is quite low down in the heap and it's showing 15.5%. So it has dried down a lot in 24 hours. But what I'll also try and show now is that that is from the bottom of the heap. If we look, take a reading now towards the top, you'll see that the moisture content is still 24, 25%. Now the reason for that is that the air is coming up from the bottom to the top. So it's actually blowing the moisture up through the heap. And that is why um, it's important to stir the heap up every now and again because you'll find that uh, even at a meter deep the fans will have a job to push the moisture right through and out the top. So it's important to manage these uh, grass seed drying facilities to make sure that the drying is done right through the whole heap. Okay I've gone on a bit but there's just one other thing I want to mention is that the, uh, attached to this fan is a, a meter that we can't really see uh, but it's up there and it measures relative humidity of the air. Now, for efficient drying, to get a crop down to below 14%, we need air that is no more than 60% RH. And so what uh, the system we've got here, and we're looking at the fan here, the system we've got here is that there is a sensor in the, in the tunnel that monitors the relative humidity. And if it drops below 60%, this gas burner here cuts in and we can then uh, put warm air or drier air into the tunnel to keep the drying process going. So what will happen is that um, maybe at night or if we get some damp weather, um, the uh, drying will still continue efficiently because it's important to keep the drying going and the fans running until the crop is dry. If we just look at this side, we'll see that this, this, the, the building split into two. We've got a big pusher here that they put on the front of the forklift. And what we've got up at the end of this tunnel, uh, uh, this drying floor, is um, Abareco uh, pre-basic for basic. So this is the um, earlier generation crop, and um, hopefully that will uh, be dried down uh, similarly to the other one, ready to move very shortly for processing at Lincoln. Okay, bit of a lengthy video, sorry about that. John for G-Source.